Jim Nail from Forrester spoke. And one of the things that he said is now 15% of kind of the survey group that he looked at are executing addressably and finding good results. And so, you know, if you look at the law of adoption, we're at the tipping point. And so, so far in that um, initial work that's been done, everything has been done off of a household address file. And, you know, being at a digital conference with LiveRamp, you know, the question is, how can you bring digital data to the household level addressable television? Which is hard because so far it's built off of a street address file versus an IP or a cookie file or a device ID. So people like LiveRamp are helping try and make that connection. But there's also technology that is coming that, you know, is going to be completely IP based. So there's a few innovations that are coming to market, including dynamic ad replacement on smart TVs. So companies like Sinclair and Sorensen are, are chasing that down. But there's also a big technology change that is coming. People are just starting to talk about it. ATSC 3.0 is you know, the engineering speak for a new standard that's coming to over the air broadcast television that will be IP based, completely mobile, always on census level data, full addressability, which is going to open up more and more inventory to be addressable. So broadcast, national cable, it's a way that the operators are no longer involved and it's through the glass level, smart TVs, but it's also a way to bring on IP data um, without having big match off, match fall off rates. So it's very exciting because there's so much data out there and now technology is allowing us to use all of it. There was a spectrum auction several years ago and so the local broadcasters you know, bought a piece of the spectrum and one of the ways that they're gonna use the spectrum is to upgrade the um, safety systems that we all uh, work off of. So we're gonna upgrade the, the safety alert systems. But that opens up the ability to have kind of IP served addressability and full connection back on data flow. One thing that I'm seeing now that I'm much closer to the client and on the front lines is the impact of agency uh, holding company silos and what that means to a client. So, you know, there's four things that are needed to make, you know, addressable TV or really any media work. You need an idea. So the idea has got to be good. The production of that idea has got to be good. The media channel selection has to be good and the analytics have to be good. All four pieces work together. All four pieces should be at the table together, not in separate silos, not ever to meet. You can't just throw the creative over the wall to the media people and just have them execute. It's no, the, the signals that we're getting on effectiveness and what pieces are working. Is the idea working? Is the production of the idea working? Is the media channel selection working? Is now being fueled by data that those people should be all at the same table making it work really hard for their clients. So how is that resolved, or is anyone resolving it, or what's the roadmap there? So I don't see any holding companies, you know, I actually see holding companies kind of admitting that that is a problem, and I'm seeing marketers ask for it. You know, Sir Martin Sorrell, you know, just recently said it clearly is a problem. You know, creative and media people don't like each other and don't want to be in the same room together. No one's going to lead. Who's going to lead in this equation? You know, and uh, Mark Pritchard just, just talked about the same thing, is that this is an issue. So, you know, I'm going to do my small part and, you know, try and work closer with those elements because I will, will not be successful at the media portion of that if I'm not working closer with the idea, the creative, and the analytics to put the whole solution together for marketers. So our business pretty much breaks down into two pieces. We do sell-side consulting, so people who are trying to bring product to market, you know, like a Sinclair, you know, like, you know, programmers that are out there. So they have to figure out how to structure the technology and pitch it to clients. And then we're doing direct activation with clients. You know, the, the vertical that I'm trying to chase is anyone that has a CRM file. I think catalogers are just a natural fit. So if you have a catalog, you've got name and address, you've got online stores and brick and mortar, we can now put the entire purchase funnel together on the attribution side. We could do really smart targeting. Again, we need to work with the creative to make sure it's all working together. But that is such a natural category. Someone you know, who's got great CRM data and someone who has a large budget like catalogs or direct mail that they're trying to figure out how do I make it more accountable? How do I make it more storytelling? How do I build my brand out of it? And Sites on Motion is going to do that better than paper.